Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Doodle Drop. Okay, it is our favorite time of the week when we get to show off and showcase one of our beautiful litters. And so we always start off with showing you the mom and dad, the sire and the dam. And let's take a look at who they are today. Okay, guys, let's meet the, meet the parents. The mom is Jolene. Look at her. And dad is cute little Huck. That means that they're going to be F1B medium teddy bear golden doodles. And let's talk about the parents a little bit. Okay. So Jolene is an F1 golden doodle. That means she's 50% golden retriever and 50% poodle. And she was bred right here at Smeralia. She is a beautiful girl, as you can see. She is 42 pounds, so she's right there in the perfect medium size. And she was bred to Huck, who is a little poodle. He's 34 pounds. So that's gonna make these F1, that's the mom, B, back cross to Huck, which is an F1B. That's how you get an F1B medium. Now we're gonna take the parent's weight of 42, the um, dad, the mom 42, the dad 34. So basically that's about 76 pounds. Divide that in half, and that's going to be on the lower end of a medium. I wouldn't expect them to be over 42 pounds, but probably or possibly somebody could be as small as dad, which is still right at 34 pounds, right on the line of a medium, okay? So they're absolutely gorgeous, and we have six gorgeous puppies. They were born, give, give me back their birthday, Let's go back and look. Their birth date, here we go, was uh, February the 18th, which means they're going to be ready to go home or to doodle prep school. April 21st, just about a little, almost a month away from today, a month from tomorrow, guys. All right, so we're going to start off today. We have three beautiful boys. We have blue, green, and orange, but let's take a look at the girls' picture whenever they were little bitty. Oh, my gosh, we have pink, red, and white. And look how cute they were at their, you know, baby pictures. That was just a few weeks ago. And now you're going to see how they have blossomed and matured. If you have any questions about anything that we're doing to as far as today, um, let me know. Um, I don't see my live feed's not coming at will, so I'm not knowing. Okay, so if there's any comments, y'all let me know because it's not coming up on my phone. Okay. All right, let's introduce to you Pink Tag Girl. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look, look at her. Pink Tag Girl. And look, she is so pretty. She has got a soft, very loose, wavy coat. Look, she, she really has a soft coat. It's not super plush curly, but it's going to be very, like a plush, full wavy coat. I want you to see her profile, how pretty her profile is. Hey, she's looking at me, cause she wants to see me. Hi, baby. All right, take a look at her. But she's got a beautiful head, a beautiful little stop there. Now she's got a pretty apricot coloration. And you can see the curls, kind of the ripples on her legs, the little S's and on her ears. Y'all, she is gonna have a pretty coat. This is a looser wavy one. Her, her brothers and sisters are crying. They're waiting for their turn. But y'all, she, she's so cute. Okay, she acts like she's just doesn't know what to think. So I'm just gonna let her sit there for a second. All right, what do you think about that? All right, let's do her sister, Red Tag Girl. See how she's doing. We'll do a comparison here. So y'all can see that she does have some cute personality. All right, now compare Red Tag Girl. All right, I'm gonna hand her over to you. There you go, Taylor. All right, now take a look at Sister Red Tag. Isn't she beautiful? She's got a beautiful head as well. Look at the camera, they wanna see you. She was sound asleep. <laughs> when just woke her up. All right, let's take a look at her coat. Very pretty, very plush. Lots of little ripples, lots of little S's. Oh, and she's got a little, like little curls already coming up all around her little collar. Y'all, she's gonna have a beautiful coat. All right, say hello to everybody. There's the camera right there. And 
she cute? Oh my gosh. So absolutely adorable. All right, red tag girl. Okay, BB girl. Okay, here she goes. They, they little chunks. Okay. And this is the little one. You know what? It is fitting that she was third in white tag girl because she definitely is the lighter colored one. She's got some really unique markings. She looks like she's got some tan and white party markings. And she's got her little freckled nose that, that should fill in with time. But even her tummy's got her little party markings. Look at her pink patches all over her little body. Isn't she a doll? She's a little petite girl, but look at her face. Isn't she cute? Now, she could definitely darken up this a little um, tan, could darken up as she gets a little bit older. And we definitely do expect that little bop right there to fill in. Okay, so there she is, sweet little white tag girl. You wanna check things out? She's saying, I'm sniffing around here. Okay. Let her show herself a little bit. It's okay. Hi, here I am. Hi, he's so cute. That pretty white snout right there is gonna look really pretty when that hair grows in. All right, that's the three baby girls. Now, let's take a look at the boys. There's some chunkers right here. All right, look at Blue Tag there. And now let me introduce you to this. He's a big old, he's a big old chubsy crybaby. All right. Hey, go back to that first picture, Will. Let's look at his nose. Okay. Still got two dots on his nose. Now let's look at him close up. Let's zoom in on his little self. There he meets. Isn't he cute? Look at that fat belly. He's a chunker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, I'm a little poo bear. I'm a little poo bear. Look. He's so cute. Guys, he is a big hunk of puppy. He's probably going to be pushing that 42 pounds. Hey, I might even be a 45er. Never know. Taylor's making <laughs> cute photos of him. But look, look how cute he is, guys. And he is so cute. He is what we call a tan and white party. It's kind of hard to see that he even has a tuxedo in white down his chest. But ask this hair grows out, it's going to be really plush. He's got a really thick plush coat. Isn't he cute? Look at all the ripples all over his coat. He's going to have a very nice low shedding, probably virtually non-shedding, allergy-friendly little guy. Okay, let's hand him off. All right, say bye. He's a cutie. All right, I'm going to sit this chalker down. And now we got Green Tag Boy. Pretty similar when he was little. Y'all, we got some tan and white parties going here, but look at here. A little different. He's got a little different look, doesn't he? He's a little bit more like Pink Tag Girl. Hey, Will, has anybody got any comments for me? Susan they got said Blue Tag is a big boy. He is a big boy, but Green's big too. See, I'm big boy, too. Look at him. Oh, my God. Look at them bellies. Oh, get your belly rubs. Belly rubs. Let's sit him down. Hi, little man. Hi. So look at that pretty head he's got. He's a little looser wavy. You can already see that. He's got a lot of wave, but it's just a little looser than his brother. When you think about it, they got some pretty eyelashes. I don't know if you can see them, but they do. All right, green tag boy. And last but not least, a very interesting baby. It's funny how their tags kind of match their colors today. <laughs> he's a little bit more orangey red, <laughs> and he's orange tag boy. But look, he's a deeper color. Isn't he a cutie? Look at that belly. I don't see a lot of little party marking on his belly. You can see a little bit coming out at him and you can see it like right on his nose and a little top dot on the top of his head. Okay, Taylor wants a picture. <laughs> He's so cute. Did he look at you? He's so adorable. Look at this beautiful, beautiful coat. 
Now, you can see these puppies are reminding us a lot of their parents. Go back and let's, if you're just joining us, let's let you see the parents. Look at the coloration of these puppies. You can see Jolene, she's an apricot with darker ears. And then you've got Huck, who's pretty nice looking red. He's a deeper, I think he's a little, little knockoff of his dad right here. He is looking just like daddy's color, but he won't be as curly as daddy. He won't be near as curly because daddy's a poodle and he's not. I'm a doodle. I'm a doodle. Yeah, I expect the, the coat that you're seeing on Jolene, they're mostly going to have that look right there. Isn't he cute? So guys, these are absolutely gorgeous puppies. You could not go wrong. I have heard that there could be a breeder's pick in this litter, and I have heard that there might be one spot on the boy's side. Not sure yet. We are actually working the litter right now. So the process is, is that if you are wanting to adopt a puppy from Smoralia, you gotta go to our website, sign up, create an account. Once you do that, you'll be um, sent a link immediately to submit your puppy application. Now, once you submit your puppy application, you will need to submit a deposit, but that deposit is going to apply to the price of the puppy. So it comes off of the balance. So online, when you see the price of the puppy, that is after the deposit. Now the deposits, the final balance is due. Once the puppies are four weeks or older, typically the balance is due. Um, you can work with your adoption specialist if you need some special arrangements or anything like that. Also, you will want to discuss your go-home plans and your training goals because prep school is huge here at Smoralia. So we can work with you once you submit your application. Our adoption specialist will give you a phone call and really go over all of your details, everything that you're wanting in a puppy. And either you will be matched with a puppy because you saw one online that you're in love with, but not every puppy that we have is online. So don't think, oh my gosh, you don't have any F1s because they're not online. That means that we have bred them. They are going to be offered to the people on the wait list first. Then if there's any availability, that's how you guys see them online. So don't wait and don't think that just because you don't see what you want doesn't mean we don't have it. We have our breeding schedule planned right now through going home. So anybody being bred right now in the month of March, they're going to be born in the month of May, and they're going to go home in July. So if you're thinking July, August with prep school or September, now is the time to get on a puppy. If you're wanting a Christmas puppy, think about that. That's puppies that are being bred like in June, July, August being born, October going home. And if you want any training, you've only got about eight weeks before Christmas. So guys, you got to plan it when it comes to puppies. Okay. All right. Yes, Will. Here's a question. Susan asks, is there a breeder's pick in every litter? You know what? We do reserve the first spot on every litter for the potential breeder's pick. And if we don't keep one, then we offer them to the clients or to the wait list. If we do see a breeder's pick, then we'll let you know. Okay. Any other questions? All right, guys, you have a wonderful day. Hey, don't go too far. Taylor and I are going to introduce a fabulous boy to y'all that was a breeder's pick that we ended up not breeding in our program. And now he is going to be available, going to training. And within a few minutes, you're going to get to meet Martin, who is Fletcher's, everybody, little brother. He is from a Margo litter, fabulous puppy. Cannot even believe that he didn't end up staying in our program, but we don't always keep everybody that's a breeder's pick. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day. We'll see you back momentarily. Bye-bye.